Do I look more jacked if I do this, Joey? Or do I look more... How do I... How should I sit? Do the first one. Do, okay. That? Do the second or one. should I... You look... You look more jacked than the first one, yeah. The first one. Yeah. First one a lot more jacked. Yeah. yeah. Should I just keep doing this? Yeah, you look like uh, you look like you sell cigarettes to kids. <laughs> I look like I, I look like I look like I'm, I'm about to. Some guy wants my cornbread, and and I'm just hovering over. So it. here's you're, I don't know you're in such trouble with the IRS. Oh, I'm f dude. I haven't paid them in years. <laughs> you just didn't pay <laughs> for years and years. Well, it became an, it became a nuisance, and then I was just like, fuck it. And you're one of these guys that like got fucked. And you were you were working a poverty a gig job. Oh yeah, the gig economy. The gig economy, yeah, and they still fun. came after you. You were doing Uber. Oh dude, that was the biggest mistake. I, that was honestly the worst financial hole I've got. Yeah, let's into. let's talk about. You want to like, get into this the decision? Yeah, because it was Ooh. it always fascinated Ooh. me when you got into Ooh. this. Ooh. So you finance you first off you went and financed a brand Ooh. new car. Oh yeah, you financed the brand new Ooh. Ford Fusion hybrid, which would have been fine if I wasn't doing Uber. But then you did it to but do then Uber. I did Uber. So you immediately you put one hundred and sixty thousand miles on this thing like put a in like three weeks oh yeah in three weeks i was i drove across i drove across <laughs> the united states 20 times in three weeks so so you financing this car you're paying the interest on the car then you're yeah. doing uber you're making like what do you think uh, a year you're making like 38k a year. like 40k a year, 40k dude. a year <laughs> <laughs> and then you don't pay taxes for about four years and then the irs hits you up and they go you owe us seven thousand dollars well it was didn't begin at seven was that a business plan i i wasn't listening fully was that a warren buffett business plan or was that <laughs> yeah it was, was, it was, it was john knopf it I was could. it was a john knopf business plan okay. so uh, in my i was like okay this is i'm gonna be at the time uh i i i needed to make a lot i needed to make some money quick because i had to get out of boyle heights mm -hmm. and i was like all right so i'm gonna get i'm gonna get some uh uh I'm going to get an apartment. I'm going to get a job that's going to pay me twice what I was making. I was working at a movie theater, bro. I was making like fucking $12 an hour. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, uh, yeah, it was just honestly the, fu the financing the car is the loss that I, you know, actually it isn't that much of a loss anymore because I finally caught up on the payments to the point where the car is now worth more than what I owe. Sure. So, but there was a minute where I was so underwater with the car. Can you give the car to the IRS? I could sell the car Can and you then, ask the and IRS break like, even. You guys, hey, listen. You, you guys want a Ford Fusion Hybrid with where the where the rubber on the wheel is falling off? Well, the rubber six hundred thousand miles, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what are, you go hybrid. It really sucks because like it, the only thing that's keeping me tied to that debt is like you know like I have like a mom. You know what I mean? And like sure. a girlfriend. And it's like, why can't I just like kill myself in a cave somewhere? <laughs> yeah. Just, you know, You'd rather I, be caned. Yeah. You'd yeah. Rather no, be no, that's, I would love that. I would love if they could cane just, me. Yeah. Beat me with a belt. Cane, take yeah. me to a tiled room and just like hang me upside down for three days. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like they're electrocute just, my testicles. There's a, whole, there's a big building somewhere out in Virginia. They're no. just whipping Uber drivers. I, they I couldn't swear pay. To God, I swear to God, if the IRS called me and they're like, you either pay $7,000 or you can go into this like fuck you can go into like a isolation for three days and every once in a while we're gonna electrocute your balls with like a cattle prod you choose that i would choose that immediately well you're paying right. for that currently so am, now yeah to get paid for it would be a new thing yeah they don't know that well they're yeah ex exactly you're Eliminate, like yeah. oh i could either pay 7k in back taxes or i could get milked by a bunch of government professionals <laughs> a bunch of fucking tom hanks doesn't <laughs> catch me if you can well you you, yeah. you, you do <laughs> ah, he's coming again now nah. it's like uh, he's like, dude, fucking ham ready. Stop making me fucking calm on my own tits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was honestly. You got to pay them, buddy. They don't fuck around. I just paid the, the IRS a, a, a decent amount of money. And, you know, I tried signing up for a uh, payment plan because uh -huh. everyone's always like, no, they work with you. Yeah. It be, should be pretty yeah. easy. They work with you. I, I, yeah, yeah. This is their version of working with you. You you go to their payment plan, and first off, they highly warn against setting up a payment plan with them. They, well, of course they There's are. pages after pages of, online of them being like, are you sure you really want to do the payment plan? <laughs> is it because of like crazy interest <laughs> crazy rate? Crazy interest. Yeah. And also, they only give you like a couple weeks. What? That's the plan. It's like they, they push <laughs> it off for fuck? like a month. 
And then I'm not kidding. They go, they go, we highly recommend not doing this. And then it has an option for more and you click more and it says reasons why or, re, things we recommend. And they go sell your asset. <laughs> wow. They just, they're literally, they just tell you like, we recommend like selling everything you own. There's like a list, like a bunch of options. It's like suck dick. <laughs> get, get out there. Well, I'm going to get, I'm going to get a tax attorney or some shit or one of those CPAs and just be like, Hey, figure it out. Cause that's how I've always solved all these issues. I go to a CPA. Yeah, you go to a guy next to a Yoshinoya in yeah. a mini mall, and somehow yeah. he figures it all out. And then I, in ten years, you get hit with an even bigger bill because and he then was, I figured out again. Yeah, you know, I had a I had a Mexican lady in in uh, uh, on Vermont uh, that worked at H and R Block, and H yeah. and R Block is such a toss up. Have you ever been there? Mm -hmm. So like, you'll get one really sick ass fucking accountant, and then the next, and then you week, get another guy with a dunce he's a, cap he's on. A and he's, he's, he's yeah, yeah. This lady, I walk into her office, and she had literally a framed cartoon, and it was like obvious she got it off Google Images and like blew it up three hundred percent so she could frame it, but it was all pixelated and shit. But it was a picture of a big hand marked IRS and with a man upside down and she, it was shaking him for money and money was falling out. And he was like, she was like, I'm going to take care of you. Mm. And she, I swear to God, she lied. She lied and lied and lied. You yeah. just got to find someone who's willing to just risk their life for you. Right. Yeah. Well, I had one of those. It was, uh, and they got Joey too. They oh, what got, happened? This was years ago. So I did the same thing where I just didn't pay my taxes. We're all fucking idiots. The, yeah. Now I'm all paid up and we're all good. I have like, hi, I have like hypochondria. So like, even with like the IRS, I have, I, I, I have the same hypochondria with the government. Oh yeah. I don't get behind. Yeah. I just, it's, I don't, I'm terrified of them. I'll pay ta I, I pay it all the time on anything. But I found this absolute wolf of a, a tax person, and uh, she's like, have you seen the accountant with Ben Affleck? Yeah. Yeah, he's autistic. Yeah. He's an autistic accountant, and he's, so he's basically- uh, he's got, She's got machine guns? <laughs> no, not machine guns, but so he's constantly like telling people how to cook their books like in a, oh, yeah, in a yeah. subtle, vague way where they're like, uh, do you ever like work from your house? And they're like, no, yeah. not really. And he's like- Yes, you do work for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. He goes, you got to cook the books. I need dinner. Yeah, yeah like exactly. I eat, I eat paper. <laughs> <laughs> you got to air fry the books. You got to air fry the books. <laughs> Uh, but then, so like, she finally figured out all like years and years of me fucking up my taxes, and then it, I think she died of COVID, like right before I could like finalize stuff. She died. What a bitch. Yeah. I know. And then uh, I was sitting there like spamming her going like, this is like terrible. Like what's going on? And finally like her secretary got back to me. She's, like, <laughs> like, she's been dead at her death. Yeah. For I, weeks. I, yeah. Yeah. I had an account that died on me. He was like an old man. He was the shit. I think it's like a, a, a low. Um, what, what if they're not mortality. dying? They're just skipping the country. They, they're just leaving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're faking their death. They're in Vietnam somewhere. <laughs> yeah, this God. guy was like eighty though, and he he would have a he would have one of those uh, calculators that printed while he typed. Oh, I love that. Oh, Did they wear crazy. the little the money hat, the green yeah. hat, yeah, the I green mean, he hat, might as well have been and there. one of those green lamps at their desk? Love oh, those green lamps. Those are expensive. I tried to buy one once. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, they're made of suffering. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, the IRS sucks ass. Yeah, they can. They're really me. scary. They're really a scary place. Uh, yeah, I just you know, I don't. You're screwed, John. I'm fine. You think you're going to get out of that hole with a little bit of Patreon I always, money? I listen, you're buddy, finished, buddy. Listen, buddy. I've gotten by <laughs> let's, the skin I mean, let's, of my teeth let's, all my life. This, I'll the be whole, this is maybe your last year. I'm, dude. They, last year of freedom for John. They're going to like shoot me, aren't they? Then they just buy a bunch of guns and shit. The they IRS? Hi yeah. They, they hired a bunch of a bunch more agents. Armed agents. Yeah. But that's for that PPE loan. They stuff. hired like the Adjustment Bureau. Yeah. It's like Matt Damon running around with fedora on. Yeah. Why do they need field agents? Because I think what happened was is a bunch of like dudes in the hood apl applied for PPE loans, and they they're just like that these is guys, right. These guys have machine guns. They How they they, get they only the IRS only ramped up when they found out black people were like stealing unemployment. Yeah, they were like give they were they were like we need to hire a lot more people. So yeah. wait, they they're like physically like bounty hunters now. Like, well, the IRS used to be armed. And then they stop being armed for a while, and then now they're armed again. No, they're like bounty hunters now. Yeah, yeah. they're like they drop them out of helicopters and shit. Their training videos are hilarious. They like they're horrible. They're like really not training the IRS agents well at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good for them. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's all fake too. Yeah, you know, and, and it's all going. Pretty soon you'll have you. They'll they'll ask you for an option to tip. When you pay your taxes, it'll be like they turn the screen around. Yeah, it'll be like getting an Americano at a coffee shop now. You know how you're supposed to tip on every stupid fucking thing you get. Yeah, 
You get he asked for a water, they flip the iPad back to you. Go, would you like to? T-? It is already set at twenty five percent. You know what I do? I go no tip, and I push it right back to the make them do. <laughs> you know what you should start doing is you should do like nineteen thirties tips and just do the custom amount and then do like fifteen cents and then send. It I'm going to start you. pulling out a bunch of coins from my pocket and wait and make it be a really <laughs> arduous process. And I, I I go one two <laughs> three. Be I go you were such a kind man. Thank you for my matcha latte. Two three four. You should really. Flip- Hold around, them up. flip it around, make sure they're looking at it, and then peek around and do no tips so they can see it. <laughs> I hate them. that show. When did that happen? Pretty soon you're gonna you when you pay for a, a parking meter, the meter will ask you if you want a tip. Well, I, I they always do that thing where they flip it around and they go, okay, it's gonna ask you a question now, and you're and like, I, go, I wonder what question yeah, that is. Exactly, I say that. I'm like, what, what, what? Like, I what always you- try and just figure out a way to play Angry Birds on it. <laughs> <laughs> I try and exit out of the screen. <laughs> they go, sir, are you still tipping? I go, no, I'm fucking playing uh, Guardians of the whatever. <laughs> Guard- <laughs> Guardians of Guardians or whatever the stupid games are. <laughs> anyway, uh, they caught our boy. They, oh, they caught our Tesla Road Rager. Oh, fuck. Which is really, the, it's really depressing. Cause I was, I, I kind of was, I was, I was kind of hoping he'd kill me. Do we have a bunch I of I love that guy. Right. He was my favorite fucking guy in the world. He yeah, he, he was uh, a, a he was honestly a local legend, uh, like a, a Robin Hood, if you will. Yeah, he would he's super he would, handsome. I think it goes. It's like uh, Kobe Bryant, uh, the P twenty two, and the Tesla and Road, the Road Tesla Road Razor. Yeah. yeah, they're the the top then, three. Like, ice Cube That's the Mount him. Rushmore well, of L A icon. He apparently had a history. He kind of looks like Koberger too. This is like bizarre. Yeah. This is this is a. Uh, what like remember in Logan mm-hmm. when they create two Logans? Yeah, the second. There's the second werewolf oh, yeah, where he's yeah, really yeah. evil, and then there's the good werewolf. werewolf. Wolverine. What is he? Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> he gives a shit. Werewolf. It's all werewolf. fake. Yeah. God. Uh, but Logan, and then there was the evil version. Wolverine. 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 Yeah. Wolverine. Well, yeah. So then, so so the Tesla Road Rager is obviously the evil version of Coburg. Yeah, Coburg is the good oh. guy. Coburg is the good one who was just trying to take a lovely road so, trip with his father, and something happened. And and this guy killed the people in Idaho. Yes, yeah. and that's and he was and then he was he was he was he was hiding in plain sight. He was like maybe if I just like beat up some cars and like bash some people's windows <laughs> in. But why would the guy that killed three people at, or four people in Moscow, Idaho, Idaho? Why would he be fucking? You know, making a ruckus, causing well, yeah. a ruckus. He's running around like uh, Craig Toomey from the Langoliers, and he's on a he's on a rampage. He's on a mm. rampage. He's right amok. He's he's like uh, the hitcher. Well, because well, he's got a steel pipe. That's my favorite thing. Is like he out of all the like he did he pick up you go to a construction site or some shit like he's knowingly carrying around a steel pipe. Well, what's also funny is I don't think anyone that angry has ever been in, like owned a Tesla before. He's like I driving am. this like eco friendly car. Yeah. He cares about the environment. You well, they're know? cool. By the, I just thought of the greatest fucking matchup in the universe. By the way, uh, Gregory. No, no, no. I'm all ears. It's a uh, David DePape versus the Tesla Road Ranger. <laughs> so oh, that'd be has, great, like a Mortal Kombat yeah, thing. Yeah. DePape has a hammer, and then the Road Ranger gets his pipe, <laughs> mm-hmm. and they just let him go at it. Uh, that'd be fucking incredible. I know. Yeah. Or we could do like a Royal Rumble where it's like uh, DePape. Mm-hmm. Tesla Road Rager. Yeah. Then you have Koberger. Koberger's the ref. He's, he's the ref. Robert Koberger's got a knife. I think <laughs> Koberger, Koberger officiates with, yeah. a ni- with a knife, though. Koberger's like jumping in And then the them. final two uh, competitors, the, the feral homosexual and the sinister queer. Oh, yeah. The that's feral good. Homos- I thought they were the same guy. The no, no, no. They're enemies. Young. Yeah. They're enemies. The feral homosexual hates the sinister queer. So, like, queer. an amoeba. Yeah, it's, it's like. Wait, a, who's the feral homosexual? <laughs> It's really nobody. It's, it's kind of the pappy. It's, it's the pappy okay. is maybe the feral homosexual and the sinister queer is Koberger. Okay. The sinister queer and the feral homosexual, it's like Scorpion and Sub-Zero. <laughs> <laughs> They've been fighting each other for like centuries. No, they're brothers, dude. Yeah, but they used to, now they hate each other. Now and Repti- Reptile's the tug it guy. <laughs> 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 and then Gregory is their god. He's uh, yeah. who's the guy with the Greg, hat? Yeah, no, Gregory's the fucking Gregory's the loud, the loud, lightning guy. Yeah, the, he's got the light. Yeah, he's got the white <laughs> hair. <laughs> <laughs> if if Hate Watch was Mortal Kombat, <laughs> who's the dude with eight arms? Uh, like Goro or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta have a uh, fucking oh, who's Luke Cage, man? Um, You're Luke Cage. Sure, I'll yeah. take that. I'm so I'm the black dunk. dude with the robot arm. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Devin's the chick. Wow. 
He's always insulting me. Why would you attack him like that? He always has to do that. Well, I didn't. This is fucking, you know. He always has to do that. He can't take it either. He can't take any I insults. can take. I can take. You call me the sinister queer for like a fucking hour the other day. What are you talking about? <laughs> that's, I mean, that's like, queer. what's wrong with that? You call me the dark True. queer. You are. You're right. That was the biggest doll I've ever taken in my life was the dark queer. I beat you so bad. That was I was, crazy. I was so in a state of blotto, too. Like, I was yeah. so gone, and I still beat you. Devin went on. Devin went that was, super John always sane. takes advantage of me at my lowest. Uh-huh. You know, like both like sexually and verbally. Yeah. And um, that night he was getting me the whole night. And then out of nowhere, I just got this weird. I finally I finally conjured up the per- yeah. the perfect joke to throw at this guy. And it was, and it was, it was that he's yeah. a sinister queer. It was exactly. It started dark queer, which I liked because it was like it, it, it was like a vampire. Like right. the Dark Tower, some kind of Stephen King. Yeah. Novel. <laughs> it's like an interdimensional w- dark yeah, exactly. wizard queer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He travels just, around I, I, I to different like, dimensions, I, fucking other men in different I just like the near idea. universes. The the headless are making out like a headless phantom. Yeah, everyone's all scared of it. <laughs> then this sinister queer just comes up and starts like face fucking it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh boy. You had a good laugh at that, didn't you? <laughs> 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 I'm retarded. You are, you are a huge idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. We've talked about how John is such a narcissist. He looks directly into the camera while we record, right? It's oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't like, look into the camera. I look at the yeah, screen. Yeah, he does. You watch every episode. We're all talking. And we're all laughing at each other. Yeah. John goes like, yeah, because he's a fucking retard, dude. <laughs> and he looks, like right, he looks right at the camera. He thinks like, he, like, do you know that that's not like a portal? I don't look the, at the camera. I look at the screen. There's nobody in that. I look at the screen. I, look, I don't look at the camera. Oh, you look what, at do you the think? screen? Like a, uh, do you think I'm like a, a tribal person? You look at the screen. I don't know. You act like they're like, there's like, we are the audience of us. Well, it's like, you know, when you're you're at a restaurant and there's like a mirror in front of you and you could look at the mirror and talk to your friends instead of looking at them. Am I trip? Am I weird? No, I mean, this? I don't have debilitating narcissism. Like, no, you. it's not that you could just I can like instead of like turning around and looking at Joey, I could just look at Joey at a restaurant. You look your at friends. Joey. You look at your friend through a screen. Yeah. Isn't that so like instead of being like, hey, I don't know, man. the no, only I way look, that's ever acceptable, you got a lot of there's problems, one buddy. situation yeah. in the world where that's normal. Right, well, there's two. Yeah. One is if you're driving somebody and they're behind you. Okay. And the second one is if you're getting a haircut and you're looking at your barber. And the third one is if you're fighting a guy in one of those fun houses with all the mirrors. <laughs> yes. Okay, I forgot number three. <laughs> well, yeah. it's it's extremely weird to do in any other situation. I you know, do I it don't constantly. Know. It's, fine. Yeah, it's fine. Let him have it. It's it'll be one of the last screens he gets to look at until he's you know the the only other trail. screens will be on the community day room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because that you'll be going right. to prison yeah, to the yeah. IRS. You know that. You know, that would you be could, cool. I could I could That'd send it content. Tip. Yeah, I could rat on you. Would that be funny for the show if I rat cool. on, if I tell the IRS like John's been evading? His well, taxes. he's already working with the IRS. No, he isn't. No, he hasn't sent him anything. That, this is not. I'm good. not evading. I'm just retarded. I mean, I guess I'm evading. I'm, if you, I what do you evading, think they're going to hit you like up running. with? Is they're going to use that verbiage when they hit you up? They go, listen, we think you're being a little retarded with the IRS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I'll get a they guy. Go, they go. We're not going to use the word evading. <laughs> But we'll say retarded. They should. They go, hi, is this John Knopf? Hey, this is a retard audit. <laughs> <laughs> they fucking should. Like, I, I hate that. You used to, back in the day, you could have, like... That's uh, so funny he got screwed. You One of the losers that got screwed in taxes. You know... Like, it's, you know, you are literally, every time you get a panic and you go, like, oh, my God, am I going to get audited? What the fuck? And then you always look up and you go, oh, no, no. They, there's, like, 0.01% of the population that makes under 130 I'm not getting audited. K. I know, but oh. the fact that they even hit you up and said you owe them is kind no, of No, they funny. do that to everyone. No, if, if they you don't. don't. Yes, they if do. There's they a pay. lot of people that just don't pay, and they get by for like a decade, and then one day they get a huge bill. The fact oh, that really? you, you already- I got by for like four years, bro. Yeah, but then you didn't pay it, and then they're even angrier. There's a bu- the whole everyone at the IRS is saying your name. I think Devin's got this wrong. <laughs> they I walk they around the halls just going like, "I can't wait to fuck that guy Knopf up." Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. It's, oh, they're gonna turn you into a meat puppet, dude. They're probably gonna <laughs> rape me. They're gonna <laughs> rape the shit out of you. You what? You want? You want to be caned? Little do you know how the IRS does they're it nowadays, fuck my buddy. Ass. Oh yeah, it's Biden's yeah. America. We're all open and shit now. Yeah. He. It's we're a very progressive people. You're gonna be raped by a drag queen. <laughs> That's what the IRS does. The IRS, now. Biden's America, they RuPaul is going to bust down this door and rape you and then like force you to work on his fracking farm. <laughs> 
That's that's what martial law is now. Biden's yeah. America, pal. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Biden's America. Anyway, let's watch a little bit of the Tesla Road Rager. Yeah, he's God so bless this man. He also, he had a criminal history, he's extensive, got, including threats and stalking. Steroids. Victims of a terrifying Tesla driver speaking out, breathing a sigh. Hell yeah, dude. And he looked like Zelensky every time he did it. Video smashing he always wore his trusty olive shirt. Arrest. Eyewitness news reporter Leanne Suter live with new details. He just details beats her with a pipe. And what people are saying about it. Tonight, <laughs> he he comes out of screen. He just passes. Goes out of the road, bitch. <laughs> attacking victims on roadways all across LA now identified and behind bars. Hell yeah. What? Wait, wait. Some of his alleged crimes were captured he had, like, on camera, great and now moves. he is too. Oh, he's, still, he's, it's like he's wearing, wearing a uniform. He's wearing the same clothes, dude. He it's woke wild. up every day. He wore the same thing. That's my favorite thing about men is they just like if you're like you could be as a nobody really cares. No, it's all about efficiency for men. Yeah. Like this guy goes like you know I could bash in so many more headlights today if I don't worry about what I'm wearing. Yeah, he's such he's fluid Steve motion Jobs of yeah. fucking bashing in yeah. headlights. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have time to think. He's he's he doesn't have time to worry about bullshit. <laughs> Not a okay. single. <laughs> this guy doesn't devote any of his time to bullshit. Yeah, his closet's just all of shirts, neck gaiters, lead pipes. <laughs> He's, got He's got a lead pipe under the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> the Tesla Road Ranger doesn't fuck around. Yeah. <laughs> Accused of a series of random road yeah! attacks, mostly. That's my favorite one. That one's great. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he gave this bitch a black eye. Really? Yeah. Damn. Immediately, just. Like, oh, this is over. Too traumatized to be identified by name, this victim was left oh my black God. and blue after oh, she yeah, says dude. Radimac attacked her through her open Radimac. car window. I had it rolled down, and he he was aggravated for some reason, but me and my mom didn't know why, because we did nothing to aggravate Pause it real man. quick. I think they did something. You think they said I they did something? all of these people did something. Yeah. I think he just took it to 100. They, she probably ordered the last crunchy taco at El Pollo Loco, and it set him off. <laughs> It's a very big LA problem. The, like, even There's in always the video, somebody that orders the last crunchy taco of the day at El Pollo Loco. The chicken crunchy one? The, whatever. Yeah, the, yeah, the chicken crunchy. Mm. Then they started going to the keto crunchy. Don't even get me started on this, El Pollo on this on fucked up country. We Remember their bu bougie uh, Crunchwrap Supremes? Yeah. Those are really good. Yeah. No, but even in the video, the older video where the, the lady was like, I was waving him by. I was like, no, you weren't. You're probably like fucking flipping him off and being like, fuck you, move. Oh, like, yeah. 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 I mean, this is yeah. this is really women's fault. Let's be honest. Yeah, seriously. They're all in the wrong. <laughs> yeah. Without knowing any details, I can tell you right now, Every Tesla, Tesla Road Rager didn't do anything yeah. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the Tesla Road Rager is your average American man. Yeah. He's yeah. just like. He did nothing different than most, most men do on a daily basis. He's sick of bad drugs drivers and unsafe drivers mm -hmm. and he's like if he's, the goddamn LAPD is not going to do anything yep. I'm going to I'm going to start smashing he's, he's falling down he's sick of exactly. unsafe drivers yeah. Joey he's sick of, of the, he's he, he's a he's a uh, vigilante he's he, goes, if the, he goes if this city's not going to do anything about it I guess I will he's the yeah. hero that we need yeah, he's Batman yeah, exactly and yeah, there's another yeah. hero that we need that I'll show you after this a guy in San Francisco who's do he's he's taking it upon himself to wash the homeless uh -oh. we'll check that out after this and um he punched me and he immediately took off. CHP it was Justin Roiland. <laughs> He's like, he called me a faggot. <laughs> he drove by. He said, oh, hey, Morty. And then he, <laughs> he gave me the black eye. <laughs> Call me jailbait. Car wash, popular internet sleuth. I love going to car washes like that, just pulling into the Radimac vacuum section and using the vacuum. Videos free. To his 5 .3 million free tip. TikTok yeah. followers. You use them on your cock. I, yeah, I suck myself off. <laughs> I love pulling into the free, into the free car wash using the vacuum. <laughs> the guy that he twists that. his flashlight into it and it's just like. <laughs> it's like <laughs> <laughs> at an LA car express <laughs> I got like a big goal <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at that though look, look at how he, beautiful he, he is looks look at how nice so he looks so kind yeah Rami what is his name? Rami Malik or is yeah, it's Rami Malik, is Mr. Mr. Robot? It's like Ramadi or something. Malachi. <laughs> his name's like Malachi or some shit. Yeah, what's this? Is he Greek? He's got a nice haircut. He's, like, he's had a smile. He doesn't look nuts. Uh, with Radimac's I name. think he's uh, Radimac. 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 I think he's Argentinian. Let's figure this shit out. Mm. I'll, I'll look it up real quick. Okay, I, he's I, Argentinian. I, that's, I, I think I looked it up because I was wondering if he was Armenian. 
had happened, how many incidents and how many victims there seemed to be. And that just sort of reinforced the fact that who's this yeah, fucking this is, okay. this, is uh, yeah, this guy needs to to get off the street. George R.R. R. Martin told solved the case. He <laughs> was a career criminal. His attacks stretching across the country. In L.A. County, his crimes include criminal threats and stalking dating back more than a decade. Oh, he had a good run. Uh, today is a, a pretty good run. Is a day where he's not out there. Beth is one of at least 10 victims. I'm not kidding. Listen, mm -hmm. I know I'm sad to sound crazy. This is a totally true thought. I it, it, there's an energy missing from 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 the streets now with him gone. I was excited yeah. knowing he was around any corner. It was so like it was a, a, it was a soft he, Literally, all this stuff is happening like really close to where we live. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I know every area that I saw the videos in. I knew exactly where that was. I, I was I would drive around. I'd be like, man, where the fuck is this guy? You yeah. saw Tesla. You got excited. I got li yeah, I got excited. What, it happened I, to me too. I'd be driving around. I see a great him? Tesla. I'm like. <gasps> It's fucking exciting. Yeah, it's yeah like, you'd, be, you'd think it's him and you'd be uh, starstruck for a sec. Mm -hmm. And then it's just some lookalike. Yeah. And your whole day is ruined. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, uh, exactly, Joseph. Come forward saying they too were attacked by Radamac. Oh, I did a little beep beep. And she didn't do a little beep beep, bro. You didn't do a beep beep. Nah. You laid on the horn, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you laid on the horn, you fucking bitch. <laughs> the fucking guy in the interview does that. <laughs> 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 the news reporter goes, you laid on the horn, you bitch. <laughs> Who do you think you're fooling, you loud bitch? <laughs> <laughs> He's, uh, in, in the footage. Um, and he's, he hit my driver's side uh, window several times. Now behind bars, his alleged victims breathing a sigh of relief. Grateful no one lost their life. By the grace of God, he didn't have a weapon with him at the time. The why behind yeah. it, I don't know if he's going through something and is just having a, a breakdown. Uh, or if it's uh -huh. something Yeah, his fist's that. going through your fucking yeah, skull. Yeah, that's, that's what's breaking down your cheek. <laughs> <laughs> He's breaking down the barriers of your cheekbones. Your zygomatic arch kay? is done. <laughs> he wants to see how deep your face can go in. <laughs> the zygomatic arch is just fucking mm -hmm. splintered. <laughs> Would like to know why. Oh, man. Well, you know his fucking bail? What was it? It was millions. Dude, right? it was like $51 million Fuck. bail. Fuck. His bail is like it's like that's like if uh, that's like Osama bin Laden's bail. Like yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. What do they think they have? It's like it's, you know. I guess they're just trying. To, they're they're going to use him as an ex set, you know set an example. Yeah, them. because there's so many crazy Tesla road rages. Yeah, I don't yeah. get who are they setting an example. It's for? just because he got away for so long. I they're, think they're embarrassed. A, all the crimes are stacked. The up, police yeah, department's yeah. like no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we had him. We had him a long time ago. We just let him go. Yeah, we had he him wasn't evading us at every step. Yeah. So then, uh, this this is just a tremendous story, and I, I it's sad, but I couldn't stop laughing when I saw it. It's there's a this man in, in San Francisco who got caught on camera just spraying a homeless woman with his hose to yeah. go away. <laughs> and then he here's the funniest part though. It's funny only because he defends himself and he he goes, "Hey, the city won't do anything about it. I will." Uh, this is my favorite thing about. <laughs> He's like a classic like narcissist, like pompous San Franciscan like artist, only guy. white homosexual. White homosexual. Yes, this is what it is. The city's not going to spray him. What, who, I, somebody has to. They're not going to spray yeah. themselves, Your Honor. <laughs> he goes, it's a bath, Your Honor. Yeah. It's a free shower. His stance while he's doing this with his hand in his pocket is wild. Oh, dude. It's, it's wild. Look at how deranged he it's is. It's like in the 30s, he'd be eating an apple standing like that. Uh -huh. Here we go. A man caught on camera hosing <laughs> down a homeless woman in the city of San Francisco. <laughs> this video tonight... Sparking out oh my God. Evening, we are hearing from that man who says he was frustrated and tonight he is sorry. KTVU's Amber Lee live in the city. And Amber, that video again touching off a lot of nerves here. Absolutely, Mike. We're on Montgomery Street where the incident took place. There is a strong police presence out here tonight. An officer tells me they will be here 24-7 to make sure there's no violence after businesses that had nothing to do with the incident received threats. Yeah, you know.
This video posted on social like media a deleted of a scene from Nebraska at a homeless woman <laughs> in San Francisco on Montgomery that's, that's Street. Brewster. <laughs> <laughs> Square area is sparking outrage. Look at how he's, what is he doing? he's so happy doing it. Secret, he loves this. Oh, yeah, and backlash. <laughs> the man is art gallery oh, owner. Hell yeah, dude. Gwen. Him defending himself he tells kicks me ass. The video shows only part of what happened. Now I snapped, and that I apologize for tremendously. There's that's not my self. Gwen says the homeless woman first showed up you should in have the seen the, the minutes ago. before and she offered to gum me for five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> because that's just not me taking the gummy that's like that. That's not me, okay. I know she kind of looked like a man, but not enough. <laughs> he says he allowed her to sleep in his doorway for four days. Gwen and other area business owners tell me they called police multiple times over her disruptive behavior and that they tried to get her help, but that she refused to leave and refused services. Pulling her hair, screaming, yelling. She's psychotic. She's hallucinating. On Monday morning, Gwen says he was cleaning the street with a hose and repeatedly asked her to move and became frustrated when she refused. I asked him if he was sorry his actions were caught on video or that he thought what he did was wrong. I'm totally sorry that I, that I reacted where I tried to move her and did so in a way that was you know, not the right way. The notion of anybody treating another human being like that on our streets is just gut wrenching and horrible. Shut Supervisor up, Aaron. Is that Aaron Steven Spielberg? Peston Fucking pussy. That <laughs> He's he like, listen, the the, I know the Fableman's kind of sucked ass, but give me another shot. <laughs> is known to authorities and neighbors both here in this area and nearby North Beach. I've been in touch with the police. Um, I mean, as, as far as I'm concerned, uh, this this is assault. The front door of Gwyn's business was broken. He says it happened Tuesday afternoon and that it was backlash for spraying water on the homeless woman. He says three men he doesn't know came to confront him. They smashed the window. I'm not surprised. I understand. He goes, listen, you know, I'm not surprised. These people run in packs. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I'm not surprised. Of course she knew a couple of thugs. <laughs> super some predators. goons. Some super predators showed up at my door like a wolf pack. And they tried to break down my art studio. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm a good member of society. Simply making beautiful art for the members of North Beach. And this thing is out front every day day stinking up a storm and you're gonna vilify me for giving her a free shower <laughs> that would be the best of would that be amazing oh, that would be the best say offense. it was a shower dipshit yeah, the spray was some soap. say you were giving a shower mm -hmm. because you know who else cleaned impoverished people jesus christ <laughs> <laughs> he goes hey i like showers too but you know usually it's 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 with a, uh, a yellow t uh, liquid but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's talking about getting he pissed on <laughs> to each, he goes to each his own <laughs> <laughs> some people like to be human toilet and some people smell like human toilet he goes see what the camera didn't catch was that bef minutes before i sprayed her with the hose i peed on her <laughs> I thought she was just one of those kinky broads. <laughs> What's the human toilet's name? Oh, that dude. Oh, God. Fuck. I forget that guy's name. Oh, that guy rocks. Pearlman or... It's like Tom Pearl. Tom Pearlman or Tom Pearl. <laughs> that guy is cool. Yeah. He's like, what, what the cameras didn't catch is that me and Tom Pearl... <laughs> 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 we were sharing a charcuterie inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was good charcuterie. It was that. It was that cheese where there's blueberries in it. It was like a sweet cheese, like a fruity it a, cheese. It was a dick cheese car charcuterie board. <laughs> he, got, uh, so it was, he goes. We were each. We were both uh, enjoying a nice soprasata. <laughs> mm. Pearlman was eating some diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Of diarrhea and then we us. heard this fucking thing out front Tom, wailing. Tom Pearl started getting his diarrhea and standing up to leave. And I said, <laughs> I said, no, you're not going. I'm going to do something about this. <laughs> Sit back down, Tom. <laughs> this guy's like, 
<laughs> this guy's like currently he's talking to the news reporter about how, what a disgusting uh, maniac that the homeless lady is. Meanwhile, there's like a gerbil like crawling around his <laughs> large intestine. He's got a carafe of diarrhea <laughs> behind him. <laughs> Outraged when they see things like that. Supervisor Peskin. Because <laughs> 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 this is what happens when you disrespect Tom Pearl. <laughs> a fire department spokesman says a crisis response to I'm an artist. Team patrol was able to engage. I'm a the fucking artist. Woman, which resulted. Mm. In My parents acceptance. died 15 years ago, and I inherited 17 million dollars, <laughs> and I opened up an art studio for people void of talent, <laughs> and they come in and they spray paint on walls, and I call it art, and you're gonna ruin it with your fucking your cold out front of my <laughs> of my store give me some shit about poverty fuck you he says fuck you he goes fuck you, goes, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> he says that to the, to the local news lady he goes fuck you <laughs> they, go, they go they go we asked we asked the man for a statement on his actions and they cut to him and it's just him going fuck you <laughs> so what do you think about her getting pneumonia goes, fuck you fuck you <laughs> uh, city services mike uh, and amber let me ask you about those officers you showed us behind you earlier i mean that is another angle to this story because in the video we've been showing you can see the front of a restaurant behind the man I, this restaurant is not tied to emphasize it is not tied to this incident at all she goes, no, Tom, but they have been burned down regardless. Yeah. <laughs> due, due to the man's actions, a restaurant that had nothing to do with it has been vandalized to the point of no return, Tom. Back to you, San Francisco, where stealing's mandatory. <laughs> That'd be funny. You go to San Francisco and you get arrested for not stealing from CVS. Yeah, it's like opposite. The day. cops like the cops tackle you. And they go, "Have you stolen up to nine hundred and ninety nine dollars worth of items today?" And you go, "What? No!" And they go, "Well, you're coming with us, fucko." It's like supermarket they, sweepstakes they, in every they, fucking store. They call you fucko. <laughs> <laughs> you're coming with us, fucko. Welcome coming to San with Francisco, us. cop sucker. Yeah, welcome to San Francisco, you fucking alt right piece of shit. Yeah, you didn't steal one thing today. <laughs> they all got those big. Big fake jugs that woodshop yeah. teacher had. Dude, San Francisco is so <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> the cops running around with triple X tits. San Francisco is such a hellscape right now. Oh, Fucking, it's insane. Like Steph Curry's like a tr he's like trying to move to Alcatraz. That's how bad the city is. <laughs> Steph Curry's, Steph Curry's about to buy Alcatraz, make a big mansion. There. You hear like one in 25 people get their cars broken. That's insane. It's insane. It's no, I'm wild, not kidding. When dude. you go there, it's like, it's, uh, there's signs everywhere that say, don't leave anything in your car. There's people that, there's home, homeowners that say, hey, listen, don't, they write notes, like trying to warn you. It's like going to Yosemite. It's like, they're, it's like they're trying to warn you about bears. It's wild. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's That's like, insane. it's fucking crazy. Um, and yeah, it's, I don't know, it's just, it's also the most disgusting white homeless people you've ever seen in your life. Oh, they're like crusties. Crusty, white, it's just, it's not, you can't get a gauge on the type of homeless there. You're like, are you really homeless or did you just like leave your parents' house in Marin County? Do they have the patches and shit? They're, yeah, they like, they, they go to the yeah. Haight-Ashbury district. They're, they're, yeah. ri they're rich kids that are like cosplaying as poor people. They should be lit on fire. They, they get they get the dreads, yeah. you know. Yeah, they walk yeah. around Haight Ashbury yep. going like ganja. They're wooks, yeah. Anyone got ganja? They they they, <laughs> yeah. they still think they're like in the sixties. It's really yeah. they they can play one string on their guitar. <laughs> yeah, they're absolute retards. Yeah, they need to be lit on fire. San Francisco's a uh, I love it. It's a beautiful city, but I I, I don't know. I just kind of think. Uh, I kind of think they need like a a, a, a guy that, to rule it with an iron fist. I had a maybe I, a guy like Gregory. Gregory would be great. I think Gregory. Gre <laughs> it's like the sun no longer sets in San Francisco. <laughs> Gregory goes since I am the moon <laughs> and I'm a, I'm an office. I will. Uh, I'm going to hit San Francisco with a uh, number of tsunamis for the next year. <laughs> Just to clean the city up. I remember my grandpa. I was watching Bullet with my grandpa, and uh, like San Francisco looks beautiful in Bullet. Yeah, and it's like 1960s. I remember my grandpa like looked at me. I was like, "Look at that, John." And I was like, "What?" And he's like, "That's what the city looked like before hippies got to it." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, All right, dude. Well, San Francisco with the hippies was still okay. 
It was nah, honestly. Was, we were watching that video of that fucking cop talking about bro, getting back from Vietnam, and that's true. That was crazy. When I was dude. a kid, when I was a kid, and I went, I visited San Francisco with my parents a million times. Um, that was. I mean, I'm from LA. There's homeless people here. There's way more now. But like, yeah. when the first time I was like, oh my god, like what the fuck are homeless people? Was when I went to San Francisco, bombarded. Yeah. It's like a, it's like there, it's like a type of bird out there. It's like, it's like, it's like a, it's like a local tree. You yeah. know, it's like, it's like a fauna that is only like native to San Francisco. They that, just have, they have like a special type of like distraught man. That was the first place I ever saw somebody smoking weed in public with no fear. Yeah. That was before I went, I remember before it was like, you would like, hide and like, if I get Yeah. Shit, when yeah. I was in, before I, was, I saw a dude just smoking a blunt walking down the street and I was like, whoa, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. That guy's just like, doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. It was, it was pretty wild. Yeah. Yeah. San Francisco is an interesting place and they're obsessed with the, uh, uh, ta taquerias. Everything's yeah, sourdough a, a taqueria bread. there. Yeah. 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 Anyway. <laughs> We got to go to San Francisco. We we could yeah. clean that city up in a fucking week. I've never been. I've never been. Oh, you'd like Joseph, you'd like it. It's, it. There's beautiful parks. Well, I've heard good things. You got to come it. visit Brian with me sometime Let's when I it. when I finally yeah. get a new car. Because I you know I've been I've been doing this new. I've been trying to look for a car here, buddy. Yeah, Devin's Devin's in hell right now. Boy, what a car. nightmare this car market is. I had no idea that just hitting up like a couple, uh, uh, hitting up some uh, car dealerships about cars. I didn't know that these car dealers are so thirsty. These guys are just such fucking losers. They they like want to hang. It feels like yeah. They'll like text you. Like, they What's won't up, buddy? stop. Con I mean, get off yeah. my dick, Jeff yeah. at Galpin Ford. I don't want your shitty Ford anymore. Is stop nobody talking to me? Is nobody buying cars right now or something? Millennials are just not buying new cars. It's the general. worst car market yeah. in like American There's history. There's like a silicone shortage. Okay. So There's I'm just going to drive my car into the ground. I it's making horrific noises, and I took it in today, and they they couldn't find out what it is. But it's crazy how bad the noises are. Joey heard on the you way here. You drove me here. Like? It's 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 like a, a noise that I've never heard in a car. There would be it's less like the Beverly Hillbillies car. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally, yeah. It's, it's it's a I'm driving a fucking jalopy and. <laughs> I mean, like honestly, it would be there would be less noise if if we rode a stagecoach here. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then uh, I asked Devin, I'm like, "Well, what did the mechanic say it was?" And he goes, "Well, the mechanic had no idea." Hey. Hey. There he is. Hey. Hey. Here, get the get the Richie seat. Hold on. Nah, nah, whatever. Take a seat. Right. Um. Hello, hello. Hello. Uh, that, the mic should be on. Off. The, no, when, I, I, when I tested it at the beginning, it was off. I turned it on. Oh, Richie, sorry. try. Try on. these. Try to talk into the mic. Hello, hello. Huh? Yeah, what I the fuck? Is there another mic on the floor? Is there? Hello, is hello. It's, it's this one. It's this one. But this one's not going to read. Uh, here. Oh, well, fuck. Here, use this. Hey, use John's. There we go. Testing. All right, All right, take we'll, this. we'll switch them down. Hello, hello. There we go. Come we can on. hear you. You're on. Hello. Um. Rehab, uh, rehab, Richie, fresh out of rehab. Twenty eight yeah, days, yeah. twenty eight days in, twenty eight days out. It was tough, man. Like a lot of people think it was Xanax, but mm -hmm. I mean, it was the Jankum that took me down. <laughs> you've, been, oh, you've been boofing wow. Jankum. I mean, I've been Jank? trying to hide it from you guys. Kelsey saw my special cold brew in the fridge, and <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's marked with tape. It's a special, special cold, cold brew. brew. <laughs> I told you know, I, I, it's mine. You know, and she just touches my stuff. But you know, this time we finally had to. My that's why I was in San Diego. You gotta get rid of her, dude. Yeah. You gotta you gotta dump her. Yeah, dude. I mean, She's not letting you do Jankum. You think I, I? You feel like your I'm girlfriend a, won't let you talk to Jankum. You feel like you feel like I'm like losing a part of my freedom by not being able to express myself with Jankum. You well, huff, you gotta be you gotta be yeah. able to be yourself in a good relationship. It's the only way to truly know yourself is to that's huff true. your own shit. Yeah, we like sucking diarrhea mm -hmm. here. I mean, it just it gives you a spiritual experience that's indescribable, and I know you guys have never tried it before, but I recommend it to all our listeners. It's the uh, ayahuasca out there. Yeah. It's the just, ayahuasca of DC. Uh, of, yeah. yeah, it is. It's, Jankum. it's the yeah. ayahuasca of, uh, of the uh, ayahuasca. Uh, of DC. <laughs> it's, the Iowa, it's the ayahuasca of Comet Ping Pong. It's the official. It's the official yeah. ayahuasca. Yeah, there's senators that do jank them like it's ayahuasca. <laughs> mm -hmm. They oh, find yeah. themselves. Jank them retreats. Yeah, they go on Rogan and talk about uh, it. Ted Cruz loves jank them. <laughs> that's how I kind of got into it. And, you know, the most it's, expensive kind you can get is from Tom Pearl. He makes the best. <laughs> he makes the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah. High quality jank. I hope that's his name. I by think the it's way. Tom Pearl. Doesn't he sound like a Blink-182 member? Yeah, he, he does. does. <laughs> Tom, Tom Pearl. 
<laughs> but yeah, anyway, what we're talking. Yeah, the car market sucks ass, and mm-hmm. uh, I, I I'm gonna wait it out a little bit because it's just really bad. But uh, man, I had no idea these dealers have nobody to hang with. These guys are such losers. Oh, they'll talk to anybody. I've been getting hit up nonstop. I have you- so many. I mean, if you wanna, it, it's if you want, if you're lonely. Mm-hmm. Just literally a- hit up a car dealership about like their Honda. Mm-hmm. Act and like you want a car for the re- for two months. The this like you know uh, Jeff at Culver City Honda will hit you up. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> you want to take a ride to the country? They like, I'm not kidding. I feel like at this point I could just hit ask them for anything. I'd be like, Jeff, listen, I mean, you know, I like the car, but. Does your wife make a mean lamb chop by any chance? <laughs> like, why don't you have me over? Hey, let me have your lunch. Jeff, I'm you know, I'm still I'm still thinking about about the Camry, but I don't know. I, I'm thinking uh I'm thinking f- filet this week. <laughs> Bro, my wife is a great cook. You come over anytime, we'll drive out to the country. They 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 hit you up and they go, Who did I have the pleasure of speaking to? <laughs> I have a lot of text messages like that from a guy where I call and I go, I just do you guys have any of these on the lot? And they go, Yeah, 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 we do. And then like thirty minutes later I get a message like, Hello. I I I think you just called. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? <laughs> it's like Jiminy Glick works at all these car dealers. Ooh. Oh, it's sad. Sucks. That's horrible. I can't believe you just went once and got a car like that. Yeah, well, I, I have a, like a well, history went, of Galpin went, Ford. You also yeah. went before the My dad bought like madness. seven cars from Galpin Ford, so we go there and we get the red carpet treatment. Yeah. Yeah, it's sick. You go online and you look at people's yeah. stories recently for the last year about buying cars, and it's like unbelievable. I was trying to get Devin to buy like an 89 IROC Z. Like I was trying to get him to get He was telling me about car. that. Yeah, John's an idiot. Yeah. And I was John trying- never, John for some reason didn't hear what I was saying. I go, I want a super reliable car. I want nah. a hybrid. I sit in traffic. I want a, a car that is good for I go on, I want to go uh, up north I want to go on road trips I want to get great gas mileage in the city yeah. and I just want it to be reliable and John goes dude you gotta get this it's a 1984 <laughs> Corvette he goes dude oh they don't God. even make like, the get parts get yeah. no I want I want Devin to buy like a stepdad car well yeah it's like you you, were, like, you must have been trolling him because if you yeah, yeah, yeah. you were trolling him I because mean Devin slightly, is not slightly. the yeah. Devin is not the guy that's going to enjoy fixing up a machine. No, yeah, he's an an old, fixing up a machine. John, John an old car like that's going to be breaking down constantly. Yeah, yeah. My yeah, car, his, car I, his current car is breaking down. My car, I'm trying to replace have a cool it. Yeah, I drive my current car with my feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're like Indiana Jones's driver. You have to use blocks. I have to I, I have a I have a big uh I have a big like hiking stick that I hold out the car and I move <laughs> it like, <laughs> like I'm in a raft. <laughs> Tom Sawyer. It sucks <laughs> ass. I'm losing my mind. You're poking boulders while you go down the street. Do you know how many how many bottles I just pulled out of the back of my car today at the like gas station? 10. I literally, I think I made a homeless guy like forty bucks. This homeless guy <laughs> stood next to my car, and I just out of the back of my, out of my back seat, I was just pulling tons of plastic bottles and putting it into his. Yeah, bag. you love to have the, bottles. He was like the Tesla you, the Tesla you. Road Ranger actually the Tesla Road Ranger charged at Devin, and then he got like one look at his car. And he's like, no, never mind. You're yeah. fucked enough. He ran yeah. at me, yeah. and then he goes, oh, what is that smell? <laughs> <laughs> he was about to, to oh, dent man. it with his pipe, but then he's like, oh, it's already oh, all dude. dead. Yeah. There's, egg, there's, there's Starbucks egg bites in my backseat from seven off. months ago. Oh, my God. Ugh. I cleaned it out today. There's Ew. sriracha from for the Starbucks oh, egg disgusting. bites. That's really good sriracha. The Starbucks sriracha rocks. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we all know you shoot it like a like, <laughs> like heroin. Yeah, you, you <laughs> inject it in your veins. John puts it on his rashes. That's how he treats it. <laughs> you put it on his feet after yeah. that breakout. Uh, anyway, car buying sucks ass. This is a. It's yeah. actually not that stress. You just got to do it. Like it's not like yeah. a fucking. The key is do thing. the research before yeah. you go. I've know what plenty. you want. Go to the bank. See if you can get the best loan possible, and show up to the dealership. You know the lowest loan rate. You know the lowest APR right now what is six point eight. Fucking shit. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. That's not good. And it was wow. it was three point I, I it was like three point it was three point no eight like idea. a couple years ago and that yeah. was bad. What? That's wild. It was three point bro, bro, I gonna go? what, what was it gonna be seven point two? I think mine's like three point six. I mean it's gotta get down to one point three. I mean this is the type of shit like this. What? Is crazy. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> what is the is what is seven point two represented? I mean, there? dude, if it doesn't get to two point three at some point, then like you're never gonna be able to get a car because if it's at three point six right now, it's gotta get to seven point five. Oh, you're just saying numbers know that fuck with me? Twenty five percent. I, I I think like uh, yeah, it's just you know you. Just, I feel so bad for Devin in this. 
Because well, he's talking in circle. You're in. You're in a loop, my friend. No, no. You should feel bad because the one time that I, I said can I buy, felt bad. Why are you uh, yelling there was, a, at there was me? some sarcasm there. <laughs> yeah. Didn't mean it. You didn't mean it. It was genuine. Well, yeah, okay, thanks. Because it is. It's 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 the one time I can buy a car, and it's like absurd. It's the rates are absurd. Yeah. So just I think there's ways, or you just get like a used car. How many of your friends have you used to have the same conversation oh, that you had with oh, me? Oh, it's, it's literally yeah. like Yesterday. the same as when I was in high school and I needed, I wanted backup with like the homework and I hit up everybody over and over again about like what exactly I have to do for the homework. And you're asking the same I've hit up questions. everybody over. There's a fan, or Dan uh, Breckis, mm. lovely man. He's helped me tremendously. I've annoyed him. I've felt embarrassed. I'm texting him so much. I'm like, oh God, I hope I don't come off too strong. Because <laughs> I'm just nervous. It's just, I get, I get nervous about these things it's nerve-wracking i don't want the wrong thing and i'm not gonna buy no one i'm gonna keep driving my fucking jalopy yeah. for a little bit because the rates are sky high Devin, you get your panties in a bunch over this stuff it's a no. car it costs a certain amount of money no it doesn't not no this is unseen even, even I'm not going to pay ten grand more for a car that would have would have been ten grand less. Well, that that's why two I'm years saying, ago. That, that's why I'm saying you just buy a decent used car outright, and they're guys that you find that's on like not, eBay you're Motors. You're being crazy. There's no, no you. The used cars are more expensive than new cars right now. That's another about? part of it. You, like you a, keep saying to like go buy a 1995 dudes who Corolla. No, I'm saying you can find like like that fucking Ford Fusion we saw. Like there's dudes online who like flip these cars professionally, and they'll give you like better deals. You know what this reminds me of? It's when yeah. you're looking for a restaurant and one person's like really like no no i've looked at all the restaurants this is the best restaurant no matter what they say no matter how much research they've done i don't trust your pick yeah no I'm like no you're missing john something doesn't know anything if about i anything. did john, it which i won't john doesn't know a single thing about i mean the yeah, only john john owes the irs 10 grand he's still yeah. financing a car that he shouldn't have got getting evicted he doesn't know yada 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 we I mean, don't, I, we don't I, need I, to get I, into I, it i got i got i'm, I'm he's fine evicted. My car he's got all sorts of, of skin diseases oh no i'm getting i'm getting i'm getting mine brother i'm coming up i gotta come up coming up if i'm getting that fucker but the thing is what do you get that man my landlord I oh, you're gonna get your landlord? Yeah, get you, you cocksucker. I'm getting. Why don't you explain that a little bit? John's been I in a found, big legal battle I find with his landlord. Rat shit every fucking morning, right? In my fucking house. You're claiming it's his. Yes, yeah, it's his. He has these little tiny turrets. <laughs> your my landlord, landlord comes in, in my house. Little He's like a Keebler all over. He fucking goes <laughs> in my house. He's about three inches tall. No, uh, the uh, no. I'm just. I'm in this fucking battle with my landlord. He doesn't know about it yet, but I'm just springing on him. But I, I've I've essentially like ruined this guy's life. <laughs> Like, it's, it's, it's like, like how, how, he's a landlord. I, I don't think you. I don't think no, you have the upper hand. No, he's struggling. He just applied for the Mills Act. What's that try, mean? It's when he he's trying to get tax breaks on the property, so because it's a historic building, but he doesn't understand that like you have to in order to. You know, get the tax breaks. You have to upkeep the house the way a historical building should be upkept, and he's just not doing that. So it's All not right. gonna. They're not gonna give him the tax break. But that's like an absolute desperation move. But uh, yeah, the guy's been a fucking thief for like fucking a year, and uh, but uh, the uh, yeah, I'm gonna get him. And uh, I, I don't think you are. I've 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 got I've 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 got the city involved, and the city's fining him for everything he's doing wrong, and he's not fixing anything. So each fine he's getting it, it increases exponentially. Now it's like nine hundred dollars a citation. So he's getting like six citations every time they fucking come to my house. What That's is wild. stopping this guy from hiring a hitman to kill I'm you? Dead just serious, dude. I have no idea, bro. I have no I mean, idea. You sound like really annoying. Oh, I'm super. Oh, no, this guy's, like this guy's being... the most annoying guy on earth. If John dies mysteriously, it's this guy. Yeah, yeah this is my enemy. No, you this sound is like my main you're being enemy. Being really white. No, he's a fucking. You're just a typical white man. I'm gonna fucking you're kill you. Why don't you spend three days in my fucking house? Typical and hear the, white it's like, guy. It's like I'm in fucking alien every Listen morning. I wake guy, up you... and there's there's fucking hey, by crawling the way, in my by walls. By the way, folks. By the way, uh, you know? By the way, guys. Remember that time when John first got into that apartment and said he was going to make it the greatest place <laughs> of it's all nice time? Now. No, it's nice now. And that we'd all hang out and there. And then the landlord and ruined you know, it. All. Hasn't there been? Have we? What have we all been there twice in it's the last place. two I years? I went there for like Thanksgiving and John's birthday. Yeah. That Thanksgiving, and you have to ass. carry oh, your yeah. chair around with you so you could sit somewhere. <laughs> you have to bring a chair. <laughs> there's, like, there's, there's like multiple we glory actually, holes. I actually get. Well, there's time, that, yeah, that's me trying to punch John holes in the wall and kill rats. B Y O C. Bring your own chair. <laughs> Somebody literally brought a table to the Thanksgiving, and I'm not kidding. Well, we needed spare more. Somebody brought, brought a table. Somebody to had Thanksgiving. To bring a, had John's to bring calling a table. people like. 
like, no, 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 we don't even have a turkey. Just bring a table. <laughs> they, uh, bring a table for the ruffles. <laughs> hey, anyway, dude, I got the fucking dopest apartment in the fucking city, dude. <laughs> no, it's going to be a fucking guy so hang, They're dude. like, hey, do you guys like need mashed potatoes or anything? And Chad's like, no, like, oh, do you have any like forks or knives <laughs> or anything? <laughs> the guy's like, on oh, Thanksgiving, like, hey, do you guys need, like, do you guys need like any stuffing? And John's like, no, dude, I need like $500 for rent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have paper towels? No, they uh, they uh, no, it looks a lot nicer now. We got an L couch and shit. It's sick. You got an L shaped couch. Yeah, brother. We got we got yeah. chairs. We got a, we got everything. It's all nice. It's been coming together. It's just so hard to like. You put never the let house us come. Everything. Fuck. You can come over anytime you want. Every time we every time we come, you say like the girl from the ring like lives in one of the rooms. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she, like, she walks Dude, out. You make a, we went out to Pasadena that one time to get dinner. The whole point was to see your house. And Did immediately you, you got all weird. No, and we like, went oh, to oh, like this person's coming Richie's home. Right. And they're coming here to do ketamine, and we I went to go. Lucky uh, Boy. Oh no, that and was when you, I had the ketamine addicted roommate. Yeah, yeah. You so, had a, talk about that a little bit. That guy sucked, dude. I would wake up in the middle of the one night. One of your roommates was a horse, dude. He <laughs> he. Okay, he kept trying. Like we would have like arguments, and then he would like group text all of us in the house and be like, "Hey, do you guys need like pineal gland activation?" And like he was like <laughs> offering us like therapy. <laughs> it was fucking insane, dude. So like I'd be like. Like, so I'd wake up. I'd wake up at like three in the morning from a dead sleep, and I would hear just like "fuck America." Like I shared a wall with this guy. What? Yeah, he, he was, was an anti-American drug stay, user. He would like stay in his room, listen to recordings of his ex-girlfriend explaining why she's breaking up with him, which is another weird thing. <laughs> and then and then cry why why and then like do ketamine. <laughs> why he said, why? He was, why? Yeah. And by the way, dude, this guy was like thirty-eight years old. It was fucking wild. Another brilliant plan by John. Uh, hey, listen, listen. Picking his roommates off Craigslist after, yeah. and, and then uh, before immediately, you know, saying, like, dude, this is going to be the fucking greatest party house in the world. Yeah, dude. He's party like, house? No, I just want to be a nice place. No, he's and like, dude, we'll, we'll fucking getting. chill there, like, all the time. You um, come over. Like, you know, no one's going to hang out at Joey's My house. My couch is way better than Dude, it'll be house. sick. We'll have the Yeah, we'll but there's the so many room. other negatives that it's yeah, just, like, I mean, well, nobody it's, will it's go. It's getting there, but so the thing is, is great. I have, like, some of the best roommates ever. Who are they? Richard Ramirez. No, this guy, I had to, like, take a walk with him and explain to him, like, hey, like, you can't scream fuck America at three in the morning. Like, he didn't understand. And like it was, it was just crazy. He was constantly doing ketamine. We had to kick him out. Yeah, it was nuts. He owned like a limo company. <laughs> he owned yeah. a limo. He co- was yeah. like a an ins- like a schizophrenic Lloyd Christmas. Yeah, he was. <laughs> that he is was crazy. <laughs> 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 if Lloyd Christmas was also retarded and schizophrenic, and addicted yeah. to ketamine. Yeah, it was. It was a nightmare. It was an Man. absolute nightmare. Yeah. No, it's been one thing after another. You got him out. And then I got the hand, foot, and mouth. It's been a it's been a hell of a year for me. Monkey you pox. Know? Monkey pox. You got yeah. monkey pox. I got monkey mm. pox. Mm. Been hitting the stops. Well, it's just 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 stops. letting you know, you it really it strayed really far away from what you first said it was going to be. That's life, buddy. We've Pretty all, fast. We've been there too. a couple times. That's fucking life, pal. Almost immediately. Welcome, it, welcome to Earth, buddy. Never even got close. Right. That's not the best excuse. Your vision didn't come close. Uh, no, to no, you didn't even mm-hmm. like have us over at like a less than exemplary place. <laughs> Like, you didn't even have us over and be like, ah, it sucks, but let's all have fun. You have, like, never had us over. You can come over whenever you want. I just always come out here. That is not end. true. Yeah. You couldn't yeah, have you dropped come the over ball on. any harder. Come over. This, uh, but the thing is, is how do you beat that? You know, upstairs? Like, you got a fucking sick-ass living room. What? I love that couch, dude. What, so we can fall like through the, the ceiling? Couch ever. Yeah, this place I, is falling what? apart. Are I you love kidding this me? house, dude. You yeah, set me the too, but it's falling fire. apart. Oh, that was at my place. I said the bat. Well, my, that was that's John also thing. set the bathroom on fire at his apartment. I didn't set on fire. the 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 exhaust vent was installed by a man named Creeper illegally, and I turned <laughs> it. And I was taking a shower, and it burst a flame. It was yeah. insane, dude. And I was like, I was crazy. I threw water I, on it, which I guess you're not supposed to do with an electrical fire. An, I remember another detail as part of that story. What, what are you relax, thinking, Richie? Relax. I, I uh, remember a detail where John was trying to simulate some sort of steam room situation. In I like the shower steamy, and you know what? It's it. Oh, it's oh, deal. God, that's right. I've taken a million so, well, fucking the hot steamy yeah. showers yeah. for like taken, thirty minutes. I've yeah. taken a million fucking steamy showers. Never have Maybe I started an electric fire. That is right. I forgot about that. John was pretending like you know, like he's like, yeah, the whole house like flooded and he's treating his shower like it's raging water. Yeah. God forbid. <laughs> God forbid he's I have a, a man, an actual professional install an exhaust. He's doing illegal electrical work in my man, fucking house. Of you course have, it bursts You have flame, Manchester you know? by the sea denial. You started the fire. Oh yeah. Well, I went down, down, down do I went down the it. street on Oxy's and I came back and <laughs> that'd be crazy, dude. Oh whoa, what's that, dude? 
oh, this guy, how big yeah. deals are made. What? This guy, <laughs> this guy kicks ass. Apparently, I saw uh, one of our listeners sent it to me. I, I forget your name. I'm sorry, because um, we were I, we were going to talk about this weeks ago. But we just got distracted. This guy Ben Mala. Apparently, he's just this huge piece of shit with a lot of money. That I don't know. Let's watch it. I don't so really. I, like I don't really know what he is. Thirty years, just like. You got the cool I can see that. Yeah, yeah. You have a similar and face. In this video, we're spending half of it. We're buying a trophy shopping center, and you get to come along and buy it with us. So we sold our property. It's in a 1031, and we can't touch the money. You know why? Because you got to reinvest it. A broker called us up. He put a couple of deals in front of us. We went out and looked at two big shopping centers. Where is this? Like Romania? No, he's like here. This is like Florida or some shit. Why is he playing the music they play in The Mummy when they see like a new Egyptian city or something? It's the same uh, guy from Borat. The guy who did the <laughs> Borat <sound>. <laughs> <laughs> the, the music supervisor from Borat? Yeah, they're yeah. playing Borat music Sean when they're Williams. playing in Atlantic City. Yeah. yeah, he's also Luca's DJ. <laughs> Luca Tonchish. Where's Little Bernard? It's 9 o'clock. God. There he is. He's Ugh. late as usual. It cuts to him stopping him supper. It's fucking <laughs> Egg McMuffin. Fuck this Rob Reiner character. <laughs> <laughs> this guy sucks ass. Sausage. I'm not in a good fucking mood today. Trying to buy a shopping center in Tampa. They don't want to give me a discount. They haven't taken care of the goddamn place. They got vacancies, and they still want top dollar. So we're going to get on a plane today. I just like, I'm from New York. I'm talking to the camera. And they can now say anything. Yeah. It's no, just like, no. I'm rich. I'm buying this. I'm doing business. New York. There these fucking people on the street. They're begging. I shoot them in the head. Get to New York. <laughs> That's New York. You got to <laughs> hustle, grind. City that never sleeps. And we're going to go look at some retail shopping centers. I thought he was about to say retail. Yeah, you have to same, scream that. He you just had the same cadence you just had. Why scream that? You He's the be same like, guy. Yeah, we got to go look at some shopping centers so we can buy them to invest in them. He's like, we got to look at shopping centers. Well, it's so they attract 16 year olds. They think they're going to be a millionaire. My in name's years. Ben Mala. I suck my own tits for milk. <laughs> 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 Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting sick and tired. Getting sick and tired of fat people. He's looking at a fat guy. He goes, sick and tired of these fat fucks. Big shot attitude. Thinks he's got better Lately, tits than mine. He's been acting like a big shot. Going out buying Corvettes. You know, he says, I can't talk to you. I mean, dinner. He's turned into a big shot. And I'm not in a good fucking mood. It's not funny, Ben. I'm depressed. So I hope we don't get You're not being funny, funny like Ben. Today. What? Hey, leave, I'm ready leave to fucking Shane throw in the towel. Why is he shitting his tits? See, I want to do the regular thing, but it went all small, and I don't know how to fix it. Oh, no. Uh, it's, it's, that it's, it's, happened mean, again. I pressed the wrong button or something. Uh -oh. it, that it, happens. It, it happens. Sometimes. There's a button. I did that. Yeah, um, jo Joey, Joey was pressing buttons. Look at that. It's all small. I, 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 I can make it go everywhere. Look at that. Yeah, Joey thought wee, that was a drum machine for wee. a minute. <laughs> DJ Tiesto yeah, for a into a rap beats there for me. Yeah. I wish I knew how this thing works. It's all a mystery to mm. me. This A10 a mini rap bro. music, it's state of my existence. Anyway, we're gonna have to go full screen. Oh. I don't really need to be here today, do I? I don't really need to be here today. Your skin ain't thick today or what? Huh? What? My balls aren't drained today or what? Of course you need to be here. <laughs> Who's gonna suck me? <laughs> Who's gonna milk these nips? <laughs> Who's gonna milk these fat fucking dicks? It's going to get sore. These are the type of guys that are so fat they just start buying Skechers. They're like, I don't know. You oh, know, yeah. every shoe I get, no matter how well made, they start curving inwards. <laughs> <laughs> I need the wide toe. Just give me the Skechers. I wear them for a week. I throw them out. <laughs> Are you? I mean, are you in one of those moods today? Yeah, I'm very depressed. I didn't have a lot of sleep. Are you last depressed? Oh, depressed? Now we didn't have a lot of sleep. All right, smoke a cigarette and let's go because I want today to get going, going, going. Smoke a cigarette. I'll have another one with you. How about that? Right, let's have a morning cigarette together. Let's get on this private jet. Here we go. Going to work. They said I'm a flight risk. First class. God, I wish an anti-fascist with a surface to air missile right just now. hit that fucking He's jet right now. How do guys this fat just keep going? Exactly. A sandwich, comfortable seat. They're so inspiring.
They're so inspiring. Look at how many. Look at how stuff that plane is. Look, well, look at this. <laughs> They're look like going to start eating. This can. is the same type of plane that like like entire bands fly on. <laughs> and there's three men in it. And it's like they probably had like trouble like taking off. <laughs> you have to shift the yeah. luggage around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and like put them in different seats. Like, sir, all three of you can't be in the, the back. The yeah, they have to put them under off. the plane like dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Girls are going to get a job to provide set. <laughs> Yesterday, he got a whole day's pay for taking a nice drive. By the way, keep in mind, he still hasn't even explained what they're doing or what what is anything. He's just like... He's like, I invest. We're doing yelling. business. Around town, American hustle. Everybody should get, only get half pay while they're driving. Yeah, right. Take that shit up with the labor, the board of labor. Gee, wow. they get to start okay, the, buddy. Man, he loves to eat his words. <laughs> Fuck the moment they get in their car and start driving. Yeah, but 99% of our employees take off whatever the fuck they want. Don't keep track of vacations. Take a million days sick leave. And a diabetic. Come to work at the time. And we get bullshitted. So who we can... We're too fucking nice. That's the problem. Yeah, I have the same blood pressure That's as the whale. It doesn't matter. I keep it pushing. I'm smoking a cigarette in the car. With the windows up, you fucking trash. All right, let's take a walk, get a feel for this place. Come on. Let's go feel this place. I don't know. I think it's only around five million bucks. And there's a Holy. reason why. <laughs> What the fuck? Hey, look, we a new employee. So he just buys real estate, obviously. This guy's just a yeah. piece of shit that buys real estate. And yeah. And flips it, I guess. <laughs> Interesting. The way There's a lot of guys like that out here. Yeah, he, do, he does I do mean, it in an extra trashy way, which I can see this why this should have its own tax user, bill. viewer, fan no, would. I get it. Be enticed. I get it. But we may they, they, they used to be a sit down. Well, well, let's see. They're going to a Chinese the first restaurant. Older one didn't really tickle my fancy. <laughs> <laughs> that, could, that could be very fun. <laughs> You're like, no, no, no. I got a sense for these Chinese. I'd for, love for to these, see these guys. These I want to see them go to an Ethiopian restaurant. You go to these properties. You gotta feel it. You gotta feel the. Customers, the stores are doing. I mean, good. look at that he, bread. What is that? It goes, looks like fucking dirt. He goes, you gotta, you go to these places, you gotta feel the customers. You gotta grab their fucking twat. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get a sense for what they, what they want. Oh yeah, that's about a five million dollar property. <laughs> <laughs> I require a colonoscopy to do business with anybody. We're making money. You don't want to go somewhere where nobody's making money. Because then you're not making money. And unfortunately, when we went to that plaza, I didn't feel like they were making money. So we got food places, which is good. You got Chinese food, you got a coffee shop. It's so you amazing. You could just make your own reality show now. Yeah. You just get you just you just get some guys to film you be a piece of shit idiot, mm -hmm. and then you just put in music that goes like bum 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 yeah. bum 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 <laughs> bum bum. You just it's uh, you, we can all do this. Yeah, yeah, we can literally go out tomorrow and make a storage wars. We can us. we can do our yeah. own storage mm -hmm. wars. Yeah, real world. Food. We got necessities. These are things you can't live without. These are Ben Jr.'s necessities: pizza, calzone, stromboli, pasta, wings, paninis. He's in heaven. Expect the Look, Everybody's coming out looking at you guys. Okay, so we got a hairstyling here. We were like, we're open if they want to come in with us. Oh, God. I don't oh, trust you, big you fat guys. Fox, please, come in. No, we're just looking uh, around. Please, around. come in. <laughs> Fatty, please. We can make up our entire year. <laughs> they have that accent. Yeah. In one in one <laughs> afternoon, we could make the same amount of money we made all year with you three fat fucks. <laughs> property. Well, we might stop in for lunch later. All right, we'll be here. All right, we'll be here. All right. right from Brooklyn. Long Island. When the people in the stores come outside, they have to try to bring you in. Yeah, dude. That's a sign things are slow. I mean, common sense, let's be honest. We might stop in and grab uh, something from you, sugar-free. Are they at you got Subway? Sugar -free? It's got nine grams of sugar. Nine grams? That'll kill me. I've never been to a shopping center. Yeah, that's what's going to take you. Yeah. like that. I mean, we're just walking around. Yes, you got a camera, but still. Hey! Hey, baby. <laughs> They're friendly here. Is she trying to park here? Yes. Sorry, 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 sorry. Come on, we're in the way. Let's go. I sorry. mean, these guys are like the it's a like to like the New York area. These guys are the equivalent 
of like the 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 wild hog problem in Texas. New York, they in New York, you should be able to pay to get in a helicopter and shoot fat fucks. <laughs> yeah, who just think, fat uh, greedy assholes. Think they can host some show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, They're like, look, uh, it's Ben Mala. You're just firing at him with an AR-15 from a helicopter. <laughs> Tucci Tony thinks that he can go around flushing and introduce yeah. people to restaurants, pop them in the head. They're like, you don't get it. They eat all the fun. They eat all the. They eat a lot of important, you know, plants in the in the area. That are <laughs> They're like dogs. They have to put up signs. Please don't put your fat. Let your fat Italian yeah. eat herbs here. Sorry. They, please shoot any fat, greedy narcissists you see. The cheeseburger oh, population oh, is really low. Yeah, they're they're, they're killing state. all the cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> the this, cheeseburger fauna is dying. This, this meatball sub has pesticides on it. Don't let your Italian eat it. Uh. Diversify. This part of the episode is sponsored by Masterworks. Where oh, you shut can up. invest in f- retard. Oh, oh shit, they got the trap portion. Yeah. I have to, you know, uh, appeal to a different demographic. That's yours too. They go, 24 hour fitness. We'll be burning that place to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Hate those places. I don't know what they're doing in there. Bunch of people, a uh, bunch of people. There's, there's like, there's liquid coming from the skin. <laughs> Weird looking machines. I don't know what those Weird are. Weird looking fuck machines. <laughs> they got these weird fucking. Here at these machines that looks like Al Qaeda used to use. <laughs> Get rid of that place. Planet Fitness, the fuck is fitness? <laughs> is there a purse watch at? Oh my god, it's more shit over here. Man, that means all this is common air. I mean, he's like eating his tongue when he speaks. He can't, no, he's, he, he sounds like he just had a stroke. He he's, he's <laughs> not that, that one. <laughs> Look at this road. You got to maintain this Active. road. Does it come with the Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah. Bell, bar, yeah, shit. All that. Why are you going to a you fucking drive to drink? Come on. Well, it'd be easy. Wouldn't it? I'm not getting coffee. I'm not getting no sugar drink. So what the fuck are you going to Dunkin' Donuts for? Oh, you don't drink iced coffee no more? I don't know. She needs some water. Yeah, I thought it was a good idea. Get off my fucking case. Yeah, I, I was looking forward to that. Then go through the fucking drive. Oh, my God. The big drama on this Jesus episode. Wow, I didn't know they were going to have a problem over getting coffee <laughs> yeah. on this one of the Ben Mala show. <laughs> they were aggressive when New Yorkers. They were really heating up on the Ben yeah. Mala show. This aerial shot, they're like, look at this. All these fucking, I hate this shit. You see these things? This is a bunch of broccoli all over the city. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get rid of this. There's too many vegetables in Long Island. There could, well, be, there could be White Castles here. Look at this shit. You got your cauliflower and you got your broccoli. <laughs> gotta get rid of this. We're gonna turn me- meatball subs. We're gonna make the trees into meatball subs. Replace the parks with meatball subs. Replace the parks with subs. <laughs> I want a thin cutlet all the way down Main Street. <laughs> I want every building to be in between two slices of bread. <laughs> Build this big giant shopping center. In a great growing neighborhood, you build brand new apartments right on site, so you have an immediate customer base for the tenants, and everything just felt good there. Everything was fresh, we don't need to put no money in it, not even the landscaping. We didn't do nothing. The guy's selling us a true turnkey project in a growing, thriving area. Oh. So I told Ben Jr., write up an LOI. It's sugar. It's like an ongoing thing. Jesus it's Christ. real. Like God. I just got done eating lunch on this fucking desk right here. Oh, he's okay. got a personality. So my dad said, Junior, write an LOI. Oh, 11 things. Song. Where's the property at? How much I'm buying it for? Who's buying it? Who's selling it? When are we going to go into contract? How much deposit am I going to put down? How long of a due diligence period am I going to have? Is there any contingencies or anything that I want? that has to do with title, make sure it's clear. Financing contingency, how am I buying it? Am I buying it cash? Do I gotta go get a loan from the bank? Do I need time to do that? How many strong bullies I'm gonna buy this afternoon? When's lunch? (laughs) These are the things, these are the questions that people ask. Gonna close 45 days from effective date, 30 days from effective date, and then 11, always make it confidential. This is between you and the owner and maybe your bro. Back to Ben. To find a meeting point and when you're up in the big numbers like we were it all the essentials that you're going to want to see in a shopping plaza 
God, he looks like a character from brand Dune. right there, Dunkin' Donuts. He even has a drive through <laughs> That's good investment. It's essential. People have to have donuts. It's like a John Taffer my... got bit by a fat vampire. <laughs> 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 uh, favorites and the reason why is you guys. This is John Taffy. <laughs> John Taffy. <laughs> <laughs> you see, it's vacant because it was a mattress store. How many people got to go out and buy a mattress today? I don't know. But this place is in a hot location and it should be no problem re renting this space. This right here will be value add because this is where I'll sell my titty juice. <laughs> <laughs> I need money right now. But it will when it gets rented. That's a big store, a lot of square Before feet. You buy your property, <laughs> my kids are full. You have to hire. What do you do? Environmental assessment. Environmental assessment services. We call Matt out. He comes out here. He does all his homework on the property. He researches what used to be here, what's here now, and he evaluates. Everything that has this to do actually was the, the site, a Native American uh, a sacred site, and now you're going to come in and sell your titty juice here. Yeah, for, for yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> if we don't close this deal soon, I'm not going to be able to lactate anymore and produce any milk. <laughs> I am in the heat. There's a gas. Rate number is a rate on. Rate on. Okay. Oh boy. We're in Jesus trouble. Christ. <laughs> All right, we'll get back to He's that. Like, I'm too old for this shit. I'm 38. <laughs> <laughs> Go do your job. <laughs> Tipsy is a very high-end nail salon. They got a bar. You can't get your nails done on Amazon. Tipsy? And what's that named after? Every woman I've been with? <laughs> <laughs> Look who's coming out now. He definitely needs a facial. He just comes, he's comes in his, He comes right in his face. <laughs> <laughs> that guy needs a facial. <laughs> More like a bukkake. <laughs> he goes, Ben Jr., come over here. <laughs> bukkake time. Glaze him up to cover that mug. <laughs> Jesus. He goes, how you think Krispy Kreme works? <laughs> He goes, he, they keep showing the 24 hour fitness. He goes, I still hate that. What is that fucking place? <laughs> what is that? The den of Satan? <laughs> these damn mystery centers with the all machines. Mystery these, centers. All these fucking places do is they make your heart rate go up to a level it's not supposed to be. In. <laughs> Something like weird's going on in these mystery the centers. They're evil. <laughs> They're evil. These, contra these contraptions that cause heart disease. It's bullshit. <laughs> it's a great uh, place in a great area in great condition. We gotta sit down, think about the good, the bad, and if there's any ugly. Make sure we understand the deal. When you get into a complicated deal like this, you gotta understand it. You gotta understand the leases. You know, they have what they call exclusive uses, prohibited uses, restricted uses, all these different types of things where if you got a burger joint, you can't rent to another burger joint. Uh, we could just open up a juice bar. Because we can sell Junior did did a semester of community college, <laughs> business school. <laughs> See all these terms he knows? You hear that? You he said contingency You earlier. heard him say contingency? I like contingency with a little bit of palm on top. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite contingency is when it's it's they dip it in the au jus. <laughs> <laughs> the the three-tier contingency. That's the best contingency. I thought a due diligence period was uh, the time between my, my entree and my dessert. No! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> due diligence. <laughs> we're going to open up a juice shop here. And what that means is we're going to have Ben, my uh, we're going to have my son here. He's going to, he pulls out some apple juice, some mozz, and he just pours it in a cup for people. It's a juice bar. It's a juice bar. Get him the Welches. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Out of here. You got boba? You said we have boba tea boba. here already. What, we're selling Asian people? <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, because this would kill it for boba. Okay, so there's all these different interactions with working in between tenants. And you got to make sure as the landlord that you, you know, put that puzzle piece that that other tenant has to be the right goes, fit uh, for this puzzle. He goes like, oh, so I could put the tapioca in my breast milk and suck it up. That's good. <laughs> Shooting out like a machine. Is that gun. what boba is? <laughs> he goes, I got boba every fucking week. I piss out a boba ball. <laughs> he goes, boba, boba, His son boba. Goes, these chinks are putting some weird beads in my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> 
He goes, he goes, the doctor calls it a kidney stone. I told him it's boba. <laughs> Try to keep up, fag. <laughs> a kidney stone. Yeah, Try like, to keep up, fag. More like a fruity pebble or something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, kidney stone, right. Yeah. Uh, That's what the kids like. <laughs> the kids, they, they're drinking kidney stones at the bottom of the milk tea. Right. Well, that's a big concern we have. And there's some empty space here that needs to be looked at. Can you fit a Tesla through there? This would make a great Tesla showroom. I don't know. That fountain looks pretty pissy to me. And that thing should be shooting up higher. What do you want me to look at on the inside of the bank? What do you want me to do and go in there and look at there? Go in the vault. I mean, you want me to scope the place out? I mean. I want you to go in the vault. <laughs> okay, what so when I walked mean? into the last what? place, there was five or six people getting their I lashes I want you done. to go in the When I walked vault. into the barbershop, there was like eight to nine guys in the chairs. Okay, so there's people here. It's really not that big of a parcel when you look at it. Because a lot of stores, but there's really not a lot of parking. That's why we need to know what are we entitled to use in that garage? How many spaces? Apartment complex owns the road and the parking garage. Does that mean that we don't get these parking spaces? All they have three different contracts. Okay, there's a cleaning contract for this one. There's I mean, a cleaning. His clean look at how his watch is about to fly off of his wrist. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. His hands turning purple. <laughs> it's cutting off circulation. <laughs> uh, maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. Landscape, landscape, landscape. There's he goes. All right, enough of the legal lee. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. The fuck does that mean? You fucking fanook. <laughs> How it is. It's three buildings we're I'm buying. I'm fucking starving. So is that one of those gummy building? watches? Where Can I get that? He's like, I'm still property? pissed. Lisa Ann beat me for biggest tits. <laughs> <laughs> Start. No, your landscaper seems to be doing a great job. He lives right back here. Okay, good. So My own father. I'm asking him to smoke. Hey, and uh, don't blame me. Ben didn't tell you we flew in today. The last minute. He did not. I'm sorry. And you drove over here, huh? Right he forgot. He didn't tell you. I, I ratted you out. All these years, and I don't even deserve a phone call. Out of all these wells, I have found one. So why are there wells here to begin with? Can you explain that to me? There used to be uh, two 3,000 gallon diesels. There was a farm. So there was a farm yeah, here. What was that? Get 3,000 gallons of marinara? <laughs> He's like, what's a farm do? What is a farm? <laughs> the fuck is a farm? Is that where all the food is before it becomes food? <laughs> <laughs> it's baby food. He's like, they're growing the cheeseburgers there. <laughs> is, that, is that where they grow the burgers? <laughs> is that where whiz, is that where whiz comes from? You know, what's a cow? Uh, you know, so why can't we just put the bun in between, a, a cow in between the bun? <laughs> <laughs> Ground storage tanks. So we're going to need to know whether or not they're in the program, a cleanup program. If you're in a cleanup You're going to be able to find that out, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You probably already know you. that. It's just I'm not at the office right now. So why I are they putting three more wells in? Because they could not locate the other two wells. That's why we brought the environmental guy here. Like I don't know about wells. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, it's a good place, a good neighborhood. We like it. It's a good fit for our 1031. Very low management. We're not going to change nothing here. We're just going to keep running it the way they ran it. This guy built the place. That's what he does. He builds them. He gets them filled. He operates them. And then he sells them to people like us. God. We come in. I feel like they slow the frame down so you get a sense of what his vision's like when his heart like starts palpitating. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and that's how the game's played. All right. That's how the Normally, game's played, folks. Normally, when we purchase a property and we utilize all our 1031 money into purchasing a new property, at a later date, after we maybe came in, fine-tuned things, fix it up a little, stabilize the asset, then we would elect to take a refinance and get some of that money out. But maybe we should wait till we have a purpose for the money. Because if we borrow that money, we're going to be paying probably close to 6% interest on it. So if we can't go out and take that money and put it into something that's going to get us far more than that 6%, then it doesn't pay. And if it don't make sense, it ain't making dollars. Ah. Go to bitmail.com mm. slash shop. Mm. He's, well, like, let's, he's let's, like the dice of real estate. We should pay we should for the him. phone call. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we should call him. Private phone call with Ben. Go to that and see how yeah. much it costs. Consult with Ben. All right. yeah. Consult with Ben. Why? Consult with Ben. Get me on the phone. Who better do you know to call? Hey, it'd make a great gift. Maybe it's somebody's birthday. Maybe somebody needs a kick in the ass. Get me on the phone. I'll set them straight for you. What if we call uh, him? <laughs> we should call him and just like talk how about you, like how to make like how to make what a if we sandwich. Have, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> we call him. We're just like we're just like Ben. Listen, like do you do I already. I, you know, like we we got the cheese, the lettuce, the tomato. Like what else? He goes throw all that trash in the garbage. <laughs> he goes, you need a bun and you need meat. <laughs> he goes, get some mayo. <laughs> get some bacon. Get another patty. And now we're talking sandwich. He goes, what I do sometimes? I go into my mother's room and I just chew on a rock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it does something for me. Kind of does something for me. You know, <laughs> nothing better than mother's cooking. You know? <laughs> I don't know, I just like to keep it honest. That's all. <laughs> uh, anyway, we could wrap up. Let's head to the Patreon. Um, any final words from any of you? Just I'm happy Richie's out of rehab. Yeah, Thanks, Richie's guys, I really appreciate your We almost support. lost you there. Yeah. You know. And a lot's changed, too, in, like, those 28 days. It was mm-hmm. getting scary. He I got mean, caught, like, stealing jewelry from his mom or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You mm-hmm. took her credit card. We heard mm-hmm. about that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You ran up a crazy bill. Yeah, how'd you end yeah, up l- in Arkansas? Luckily, I didn't lose my new job, though. He ran up a crazy good, bill you know? at Claire's Boutiques. <laughs> <laughs> he bought a bunch of e- uh, piercings yeah, for children. Yeah, I, I saw the new Louis special, and then it just, uh, like, imbued uh, me <laughs> to, like, want to get children's things. And I, I, uh, You know, the Jankum. You just you don't know what yeah. you're doing. The you're, Jankum, in, you're in a haze. The Jankum makes you crazy. <laughs> it does. It's just... Well... John, anything, shit. any final things about you? You want to tell the IRS that you're going to, you know. You can all you, suck me off. Okay. Well, Not you guys, I don't think the they IRS, like that. The IRS, yeah, yeah, no, the IRS, uh, no, I'm going to, I'm, I'm probably going to get, what's going to wow. happen is that I'm going to get to the point where they're about to fuck me and then I'll do something. You know? Launches mm-hmm. right into Sinister Queer. Yeah, I, I'll be a real Sinister <laughs> Queer that gag, Is that gag over? <laughs> no, 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 we don't. We're sinister queer. Sinister queer. <laughs> Very good, Richie. We brought it back up today because he is the Sinister Queer. Yeah. That was so sinister. Saying that I mean, to the IRS. John, by the way, is joking. He's on top of it and he's taking care of it. I'm on top care. of it and I'm taking care of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a lady yes, yes, and yes, a yes. block doing it I'm for super him. chill. Who's a it's, criminal. Yeah, I got, a, I got a CPA and everything's okay. Yeah, Just a child porn... Assistant, yep. child porn assistant, <laughs> advocate. <laughs> you got a CPA on it. She tells you all the websites. <laughs> tells you when the drops are happening. They go the on good the drops. dark web. They go on the dark web for you. All right, uh, patreoncom slash podcast. Uh, thanks for listening and good night. Good night. Good night.